<clears throat> Zelda, good. What? You want me to tell you how to make Zelda style climbing in Godot? Well, that's handy because I just figured that one out. First things first, let's start with my basic character controller. I'm going to run over this quite quickly, all the codes in the description if you want it. If you already have a character controller, feel free to skip this part. In my standard character controller, we have a few important variables. First we have our speed variables, so we can set the speed of our character. Next up we have our gravity force and our jump force, some character controlling variables and our vectors, where we have a vector for the direction we want to move, the velocity that we are moving, and the gravity vector to help with gravity, which will all combine into the movement vector. Finally, we have our references to our player mesh, collision shape and our camera holder nodes. In our code, the input function takes our mouse input and rotates the camera accordingly. In the process function, we rotate the mesh of the player to the direction that we are moving. Then in the physics process, we call our other input function, uh, which takes the keyboard input and adds it to the direction vector. And finally, we call our movement function, which will control our gravity vector depending on whether we are falling, on the floor, on the ceiling or jumping. Next, we set our velocity vector to interpolate to the direction vector multiplied by our speed, making some smooth movement. Then we assign the movement vector, which just adds the velocity and gravity together. And finally, we can call move and slide with snap, which will move our player according to our movement velocity. That's basically it. There's some other code which helps with physics interpolation, as well as rigid body collisions, uh, but that's not really important for this tutorial. Like I said, it's all in the description, and here's the node tree for those that are interested. Anyway, on to the climbing. In the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, climbing is quite simple. The player walks up to a climbable surface, and when they are in range, they will begin to climb up. So first things first, we need to detect when the player is near a wall to climb. To do this, let's add a raycast called wall check to the front of the player. Then in a new climbing function, which we will call in the physics process, we can check if the wall check is colliding. But what if the player is right at the top of a wall? Then we will want to push the player over the top. Ok, so we can create another raycast called the still on wall check and position it slightly higher than the other. That way, if only the bottom wall check is colliding, it means that the player is at the top of the wall, and we can push them over the top, maybe using our jump function. If they are both colliding, then it means that the player is still on the wall, and we can continue. Next, I want it so that the player must press a button to climb, which is not entirely true to Breath of the Wild, so you don't have to do this, but I will just check if the player is pressing the climb button. And finally, if the player climbs all the way down to the floor, I want them to be able to smoothly walk away. So we'll say if the player is on the floor, then we'll set is climbing to false. Okay, so now we know when the player should and shouldn't be climbing. We just need to actually implement the climbing logic. So, if the player is climbing, we want to set gravity enabled to false, so that we're not using gravity, and our speed to climb speed, so that we're going at the climb speed. Next, for each frame, to stop our direction and gravity vectors from building up over time, we set them both to zero before we do any work on them. Now, we need to be able to move the player relative to the wall that we're climbing on. To do this, we use similar code to the input function, but instead of using our horizontal rotation variable to get the player to move relative to the camera, we declare the value rotation to move the player relative to the direction of the wall, which we retrieve by using the get collision normal on our wall check raycast. Then we can use our forward and back inputs to move the player up and down, and the left and right inputs to move the player left and right relative to the wall. 
Finally, we also need to make sure that the player is pointing towards the wall, so in our process function, we will add an if statement to check if the player is climbing, and if they are, face the direction of the wall. This works great, but there is one big problem. There is nothing actually holding the player to the wall. Whenever the player goes round a corner or a curve, they get further and further from the wall until eventually the wall check raycast doesn't reach and the player falls from the wall. To fix this, we need to find a way to stick the player to the wall. To do this, I'm going to add two new position nodes to my player. The stick point holder, which sits exactly on the outside of the player's collision shape, and the stick point, which is a child of the holder and sits in the centre of the player. I'm going to add these as variables in my script so I can easily access them, and then when the player is climbing, we can set the stick point holder to equal the wall check collision point and then set the player's x and z positions to equal the stick point's x and z positions. This means that the player's center will always be exactly the player's collision shape radius away from the wall. Wow, that was a mouthful. But it works a treat, the player sticks to the wall and can climb up and down, jump over the top or uh, get to the bottom. Perfect. And there you have it folks, with just a few simple steps you too can have a climbing system worthy of a true hero-like Link. Now go forth and conquer those treacherous mountains and defeat Ganon once and for all. Just remember to always bring a hookshot and plenty of hearts. Happy climbing. Thanks for the outro, ChatGPT.